Hi, my name is Brooke St. Martin. I'm 26 and I'm from Baltimore, Maryland. I currently work at Kisner's Hair Salon and Barber in Glen Burnie, Maryland. I have worked there for two years, not two years, I've worked there for four years really, but obviously I am stumbling over my words today. I have worked there for four years and just two years ago, is what I was trying to say, we switched over to a summit salon. And in those past two years, I have went from working part-time to full-time and since I've switched to full-time I have level jumped within four months so from 2015 to 2016 I have had a growth of 152 percent within the salon which was a huge personal accomplishment for me so I'm very excited about that and I'm excited for my guests because that just means that they are extremely happy I wanted to become a hairstylist just since I was little I remember sitting at my mom's vanity she had these giant velcro rollers on her like sitting on her vanity and I always used to play with them just put them in my hair used to put them in my Barbie's hair when I wasn't cutting all their hair off and you know I always remember my grandfather got me a vanity when I was six just like my mom's because I want one just like her and you know you eventually outgrow things so my mom ended up selling it one day and I was heartbroken like oh I will never do hair because my mom sold my vanity well years go by and it's finally time for me to make my choice what do I want to do I knew I wanted to do something that impacted somebody's life that changed their lives that was something that you know I could just help people feel good about themselves every day so that's when I decided to really consider you know following my dream of what I wanted to do when I was little so after getting backlash from my mom and like oh well you know maybe you should consider something else it's like no I think I'm gonna do what I want to do and really follow through with what I think I should do and what I was born to do so after learning all the possibilities of being a cosmetologist in school I decided to go for it. So while I was in school, I was in the 90-90, which means I had a 90% GPA with a 90% attendance. And then I was also the salon floor manager once I graduated to the salon floor, which was awesome. It was a way for me to help other students and reach out and see, you know, kind of what it was like to be an educator without really getting into it. So then I started at Kisner's in 2013 and I have loved it. I was there when we were 1099 salon to now being a summit salon. And everything about the summit system has worked for me. I love it. You really have to dedicate yourself to it and that's something I'm okay with. I love dedicating myself to things and you, you get really rewarded for your hard work, which I love. Um, so, and I've been there ever since. And now I was recently promoted to being a salon educator, which I am super pumped about, like I was saying, because this gives me a chance to give back. It's not so much about what I will get out of it, but what I can give other people out of it, which is why I want to be an educator in general. So why Redkin? I was born into a giant family, which we, funny enough, call ourselves the Wheeler Tribe except for now I'm St. Martin, and but I'll always be a Wheeler. So we called ourselves the Wheeler Tribe. We're very loud people, we're Italian, and you know, just love to do everything that Redkin really stands for. The culture behind it mirrors a lot of what my family culture is like. Um, I love the products, I love the diversity in the products. You name it, you guys have it, if it's somebody for who's three and needs to be braided, there's always braid aid, which is great. Or if it's somebody who is older and losing their hair and just like has a lot of problems going on, they have Seraphil. So for me, like it's just about what I can offer and what I can do to make people happy. And you guys have everything that could make anybody happy that I could recommend to somebody to make them happy. I feel like when I'm, you know, working with Redken products that I can really achieve anything. I just recently went to Symposium, which was amazing, and was really inspired by Katie's story because 
for me, I kind of feel like that's where I'm at in my life. I am starting to try a whole new thing that I've always wanted to do, and I'm super excited to be reaching for the stars. So I personally feel like my own Katie, except I'm Brooke. And I am really just pumped to see what Redkin has to offer. I, you know, I already love what you guys have. I love the diversity of the products, like I was saying. City Beats is amazing. When it comes to balayaging, which is super in trend right now, you guys are top of the line with it. Everything I know about balayaging, I've learned from you guys and from fellow educators at Pillar Programs. Um, what I really love most is that everybody's true to who they are, who I've met. And, you know, in a world like today, I feel like it's very hard for some people to stay who they are, be silly, be goofy, laugh often. That's... It's really what I do all the time. And, you know, I just don't want to, I want to show people that you can be who you want to be and be unapologetically you, you know, obviously like don't be a jerk, but like just be who you are, be who you were born to be, enhance your natural beauty, help others enhance their natural beauty, give them confidence. Um, you know, Redkin Loves You was a huge thing at Symposium and I, I am a huge lover, so I love everybody. I love Redkin, I love Kisners, I love my family. So I want to really just spread the word, get it out there, get people excited, show people you know, what they are possible with doing, what they can do, what I can do, and how I can help them and make things you know, just super awesome and celebrate everything. So I really look forward to you guys watching my classic balayage video. And I hope to hear from you guys soon. So thanks for everything. So this is my guest, Helen. Today we're going to be doing a classic balayage on her, really focusing on putting some points of light around her face to open it up, make it more sun-kissed, give it a more natural look. We're going to do so by doing a diagonal backward sectioning so that way it'll be nice and light, like the sun kissed her up here, and then fade to a little bit darker and more subtle in the back. We started by prepping her with a pre-art treatment and a hair cleansing cream treatment. That way we can rebalance out the pH of her hair, get all of the buildup off of it, just give us a very nice canvas to work with. We also did a cat treatment on her, which we left on for five minutes at the bowl to help um, maintain the protein in her hair. Um, we are going to be using Flash Lift with 30 and pH Bonder today. The pH bonder is going to be great because it's going to be conditioning as we lift so that way we're not compromising the integrity of our hair. So let's get mixed and I'll meet you back there. So to get started with our classic balayage, we're going to be mixing our flash lift with our peroxide, 30 volume developer. We're going to do one to one parts with the, with the flash lift and the developer. So we're going to do 15 grams to uh, a half an ounce with the peroxide. And then we're also going to be adding pH bonder into this. We're gonna do four milliliters because we're actually going to double it. So we're going to do 30 grams to an ounce. And the reason I'm using flash lift on Helen is because I want to get the maximum levels of lift on her. Just because her hair does naturally feel warm, we want to be sure that we're cutting through as much of that as possible to give her the noticeable sun-kissed look that she wants to. Now that we have our flash lift with our peroxide mixed well, we're going to be adding the pH bonder. All right, so we're going to get started. Okay, so we're gonna get Helen started with her classic balayage. I've broken her down into a four block section. So we're going to take our first section at the front of the face. We're going to take a one inch section 
And then what we're going to do is hold the hair at a 45 degree angle. And I'm going to take a small triangle section close to her face to give her her first point of light. I'm going to overdirect this section backwards so that way when it falls forward, it frames her face nicely. So I want to charge my brush, just enough product to really cake it on and then feather it down with most of the product starting at the mid shaft and then towards the ends. So I'm going to take my balayage board and charge that also. And then I'm going to hold the, the hair and then slowly start bringing it down. So I only did the side closest to her face, like I said, to give her that point of light. I want to check to make sure that I have a nice blend underneath. And I'm going to take a piece of cotton and place it. Just to keep it nice and separated from the other hair. I'm going to take the next section close to that one. Take another small section. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm holding it at a 45 degree angle with tension. And then this one, I'm not going to be over directing. I'm going to sweep the product down. With most of the product starting at the mid shaft towards the ends. And I'll pick up my balayage board, recharge that. Sweeping. What I want to do is I want to check to make sure that the underneath isn't getting a line from the product on the board. So I'm just going to blend it down nicely. Lift it to check. And when I feel comfortable with as much product on there, it needs to be saturated. I place another piece of cotton. And then I'm going to take my next one inch section. And then this one I'm going to do in the same pattern, a little more off. You have a triangle section, just a little bit off of the face. We add a little bit more hair. Okay, so I'm going to over direct this piece also. Still maintaining my tension in my 45 degrees. Charging my brush enough to get enough product. Pull to the ends and give it nice saturation. But not overly saturating it to where it goes underneath of the hair onto the next. So as I can see when I lift it, it's only on the upside. So I'm going to charge my board again. Now this one I'm going to leave a darker piece a little bit farther back so I can start a brick lay pattern with it. So that way it's not so uniform and it looks more organic.
maintaining the same pattern that I began with, and we're directing the pieces around the face. Heavy, starting to get heavier on the saturation in the mid shaft. So this is Helen's classic balayage application processing. It can process up to 50 minutes with flash lift. We, as you can see, we did the points of light around her face, over directing the front. We also did that in the back. We did points of light. I added a couple more to give it a little dimension whenever she moves her hair, which we will see once we get her glazed and rinsed and Get it looking beautiful. I can't wait. Okay, so now that we have finished Helen's color service, we let her process for 50 minutes with the flash lift with 30 on. And then we rinsed her at the bowl, did her pH bonder treatment, let that sit for 10 minutes, shampooed her with Extreme to help rebuild the protein in her hair. We then followed up with a chemistry Extreme shot let that sit for five minutes to help repair the cuticle of her hair and to close it and give her some more life, give her the protein back that she was lacking from the color service. We then dri dried her, applied a clear glaze, and then rinsed her again and followed up with um, Colex Magnetics shampoo and conditioner to just help keep that glaze on there. 
um, sulfate free, we really like the smell, it's very gentle. So now we're going to dry her and get her styled. So I'm going to be using, so on Helen today, we're going to be using Pillow Proof Primer. It's going to help cut down her blow dry time by um, 50%. It's a heat protection up to 450 degrees. It's going to give her more shine and it's going to help enhance the other products we're going to be using. So next we're going to be using One United. So this is a leave-in conditioning treatment. It's got 25 benefits, including shine, conditioning, um, color, softness, and it smells great. So I'm just going to comb that through too. Okay. So because we are going to be styling her with a hot tool today and a blow dryer, we're going to be using Heat Design. It's a blow dry lotion. So I'm going to take it and emulsify it between my hands and then run it through her hair. If I told you this was only gonna hurt If I warned you that the fire's gonna burn Would you walk in? Would you let me do it first? Do it all in the name of love Would you let me lead you even when you're blind In the darkness, in the middle of the night In the silence, when there's no one by your side Would you call in the name of love? Classic 
balayage finished, we used Flash Lift with 30 volume and pH bonder. We followed up with a clear, crystal clear glaze at the back bar to seal her cuticle and to give it more shine. We also did a chemistry shot phase at the back bar just to give her more protein, re help rebuild it, following up with the extreme home care line. Um, I recommend it for Helen to take home with her. Either the pillow proof primer, depending on what kind of hair she has, for thicker hair, I would recommend this. But since her hair is thinner but she has a lot of it, I would recommend the spray. Um, it's just easier for her lifestyle to spray and comb it through. Um, so there's this. I also recommended hot sets since she loves to curl her hair every day. We want to give her something that's going to protect her, especially with going lighter. We want to keep our hair in the best way that we can. Keep the integrity of her hair and not compromise it in any way, especially with heat if she's going to be using it every day. So I recommend a hot sets, the thermal setting mist. And then for her shampoo and conditioner, I recommend the extreme. Like I said, since we are going lighter as the summer goes on, we want to keep building up the protein in her hair, not compromise it in any way. So we're going to do the extreme shampoo and conditioner. And then I also recommended for her to purchase the step three of the pH bonder to use weekly to ensure the longevity of the pH bonder treatment. And that way her hair is just feeling as great as it can be. Out of those three products, she ended up taking home the hot sets, the extreme shampoo and conditioner, and the pH bonder. So I will show you Helen one more time. As you can see, she has lots of natural points of light in her hair. It gave her an all over, just different look from when we started. She, you can really get, see the pops that she's starting to get. As the summer goes on, we're gonna lighten it, give it a little bit more. But for now, we are extremely happy with the outcome of her service. I especially love around the face, just how it opens it up.